Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I've been quite busy, but thankfully my schedule is going to be a little bit lighter as of next week. So hopefully I will be able to get some more videos out for you guys. Um, yeah, so today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmate Connections or Twin Flames. And it's just going to be general just to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines as well as the Feminines. And we'll also be taking a look at what is coming up. Do keep in mind that because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you would like a personal reading with me to look into your specific situation, you can find all the information in the description box below this video. All right, um, I will try to keep this one a little bit short just because, like I said, um, things are a little crazy right now. So let's see, what is going on with the masculines? Please? I think we have officially um, Mars has entered Aries, and that is a pretty significant transit, by the way. It's very, very action-oriented. Um, all right, so first card out for the masculines, we have self-love. Okay, very, very positive, very important, figuring out that they deserve to have love, that they deserve to have self-love, which in turn means they deserve to have love <laughs> in their life. All right, let's see what else. Let's get a couple more. Ooh, we have deceit, okay. And I'm just going to get a couple more oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. So let's see, what else is going on here with the masculines? And we'll see what this is, this deceit is about. I do have a feeling that um, there might be other people in their lives that are deceiving them. And that's why we have the self-love card, right? Um, becoming more aware of how they should be loving themselves and not allowing other people to manipulate them, to be deceiving them, just becoming more aware of their own worth. And I feel like that's exactly why we have the answer is no, which is why I actually waited before um, discussing this deceit card, all right? It's, it's pretty clear now. Saying no to anything that is deceitful, anything that is manipulative, anything that is not in alignment with them because their sense of self-worth is increasing. We also have metamorphosis and we have nostalgia. So it's like the more that they find this sense of self-love for their own self, the more that they are transforming, right? I mean, finding self-love is very, very transformative. Um, and the more that that happens, the more nostalgia that they have for their feminine. Okay, and I feel like they're actually in that space right now of having a lot of nostalgia for their feminine because of the self-love and because of being able to see and make discernments concerning what is deceitful in their in their lives. Now, for some of them, this deceit could even be them having been deceitful to their own selves, all right? And for others, it's going to be both, that they have been deceitful to their own selves, but also that other people are deceitful to them. So let's get into the tarot. Yeah, I'm feeling that nostalgia very intensely, actually. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. What is going on with the masculine just overall? Okay, and they are all upright, and we have the Seven of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Okay, so this is just what's going on overall in their lives at the moment, and it doesn't any some way um, relate to their connection with their divine feminine, okay? It might not be directly related, but it's indirectly related, just like self-love is indirectly related, okay? So with the Seven of Wands, they're, they're setting boundaries. They're setting boundaries. Again, I feel like it has to do with some partnerships, maybe even work relationships, um, contracts, just other people, friendships, um, even even romantic partners, okay? Anywhere where there is some kind of a collaboration, okay? So even romantic partnerships do entail that. So they're setting up boundaries, um, possibly even being a little bit defensive in terms of those relationships. So this is pretty much just kind of clarifying what I was saying before. And again, it's because they are becoming more and more in tune with their own feelings. Not only that, 
with this page of cups i feel like this page of cups is actually um saying a lot it's it's reminding me a little bit of this nostalgia card like just really feeling their emotions like the more that they are figuring out you know how other people are treating them or how they are living their lives with other in terms of other people okay and it could be anything this is not a karmic reading so i'm not um necessarily talking about a karmic romantic partner okay uh, or a third party but even for those who are not in that kind of a situation right it's like there's they've still been involved or influenced by other people in some way which was not representative of self-love and so the more that they're setting up these boundaries because they're becoming aware of it again it's like the more in tune they are with what they really want and their true emotions feeling their feelings more in other words okay so anything that they're feeling they're feeling it more intensely and more authentically so let's see specifically towards their feminine And we have the Six of Swords in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands in reverse. All right. So huh, definitely feeling like they cannot leave you in the past. They cannot move on from you. Um, I, like I said, I feel like they're feeling their, their feelings just more intensely. And um, a big part of those feelings is a feeling of loss, the Five of Pentacles. Feeling like they're empty is what I'm getting here. Feeling a sense of emptiness not being able to just get over you and move on with that six of swords in, in reverse here. And even if they have, even if they've taken steps in that direction, it's not working out, okay? And this is actually um, what they are aware of here. So they are aware of this. They are aware of the fact that they cannot just move on from you and that they're feeling empty without you because they're so much more in tune with their true feelings. And so Six of Wands in reverse, yeah, they feel like, well, you know, everything right now feels like a failure to them, everything that they've done. So let's just get one more row for their energy towards their divine feminine. Okay, we got quite a bit here. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the High Priestess. We have the Chariot in reverse. Okay, and two more here. We have the King of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, one sec. Again, with the High Priestess, very much in tune, knowing exactly what is going on within, within their own self. Um, they feel like they're losing control here. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress that's making them feel extremely uncomfortable, but I feel like it's in reverse because they are actually very much aware of it. Like I said, like at the moment, it's like their intuition is very, very heightened, very heightened. But at the same time, it's like they're, they're feeling like they're losing control, like not really knowing what to do, where to go, um... So really not taking much action. And if they are taking action it, towards you, it might feel a little bit reckless or a little bit all over the place. It, and this is because emotionally they're extremely unstable. But again, um, the King of Cups in reverse is together with the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is something that um, they're actually like working on or it's like, they're actually focused on this. Again, I feel like they are very much in tune with what is going on in their headspace, in their heart space, in this connection, what's going on with other people. It's like all of a sudden the masculine just knows exactly what is going on, what it is that they're feeling. Um, and I feel like their focus really is first and foremost on self-love and saying no so this could say no to um you know whatever is not in alignment with them so this might especially be true for masculines who tend to be people pleasers okay um it, it's not restricted or limited only to those 
masculine, I'm just saying it's um, probably going to be more pronounced for them, okay, this, this energy here. Either way, <clears throat> um, very emotionally unstable though at the moment, feeling even um, depressed because they feel like they don't have their feminine and there's this essence that they need, that they would need to work um, to either gain the feminine's approval or, you know, to be, to be worthy of the feminine. Let me just put these here. Okay, so let's see, should we clarify? Yeah, let's clarify just a little bit. Let's see. Um, Clarify that top row. Card went flying in one sec, guys. Alright, and it is the Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they're actually being very um, vocal. Alright, we have two pages here. <clears throat> they're being very vocal about this, these boundaries that they are setting. Like, it's not, again, it is, this first row is not towards their feminine, okay? This is just in their, in their lives, all right? Outside of the feminine. So they're setting boundaries and they're being very vocal about that. Um, and not only that, it's like, they're exploring. They're exploring their own feelings concerning what is going on in their lives outside of the feminine. Again, and seeing the answer is no. Okay, so let's see the second row. Especially this, oh, that one just went flying and landed in the same spot. Okay, one sec, let me get it. And it is the sun. See, so, okay, <clears throat> so even though there's this sense of failure, there's this sense of emptiness, there's this sense of I cannot move away from my feminine, I just cannot leave this in the past, like for some reason, you know, it's like as hard as they try, it, the feminine is always there, in their minds, in their hearts, right? So even though they're feeling this emptiness, they're still feeling this sense of hope, this sense of this is what I want. This is what would make me truly happy. But at the moment, right, having the sun as a clarifier for these very, uh, like, more negative cards, this is also showing depression. Feeling that sense of just really being depressed and wanting to make that, that shit. Still wanting... <clears throat> Um, to, to have this. And it's interesting because I feel like, was it in the last reading? Um, I can't remember if it was the last one or the one before that, where there was the sense of giving up. And I was saying that, you know, they need to go through that. They need to hit that rock bottom. Okay. So this is them coming out of that and feeling again, like, no, I do want this. There is some sense of hope here. This is what would make me happy, my Divine Feminine. So let's see this last row. I feel like there's quite a bit here, so I might get more than one. Hopefully it won't go flying. Yeah, okay. All right, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> so this is why this is why they're feeling the stress. This is why they're feeling this anxiety because they feel like they're not with their feminine. And like I said before, they have this nostalgia. Um, this is what they are becoming more and more aware of, that this is what is making them feel like they're not, they're just not moving ahead in life in a successful way in the, or in the way that they had imagined. And it's because that love, that two of cups, it's not in their life. very aware of this again very very aware of this of course they might not be expressing this to you okay with the high priestess the high priestess tends to be pretty quiet <clears throat> um 
but is very, very aware. And it's not only that, it's like the masculine is feeling like, you know, what it is that would get them out of this mess, out of this stress, out of this anxiety, is to actually be with the feminine. Now, of course, you know, the whole um, issue, though, is, you know, are they going to actually overcome their challenges and do something about it? Um, and that's a completely different different issue. And that's why, well, one of the reasons why, you know, we always say for, for the feminine to focus on his or her own self and to move forward. That's, that's one reason, definitely not the main reason, okay? Um, but yeah, feminine is not just going to be sitting around waiting to see if the masculine is going to make, make a move, or at least <laughs> you shouldn't be. Um, let me see these last two cards, the King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. These two seem to be going together. And we have the Four of Wands. So, yeah. Feeling very emotionally unstable, as I said. Um, also depressed. And it's like that is actually working towards pushing them towards making an effort to have this connection to have this connection with the with the feminine right to come together to have a celebration at some point they're not there yet but it's like at the moment they've moved out of that unmotivated um you know just discouraged giving up kind of energy they're coming out of that the this um this energy here is all representing how they are coming out of that depression or how they're now using that to their advantage rather than just sulking in it. Okay, so it's a it's a very big contrast from that last reading where we were seeing that. Okay, so let me just get a few cards to see what is going on with the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up. What is going on with the feminines, please? Right, we got two. We have realization and attraction. Hmm. Okay, let me just make some space here. Realization and attraction. You're having major realizations. Um, possibly as to what it is that attracts you or what it is that does not attract you. This may or may not be concerning your masculine, but again, it will in some way be um, related, even if it's indirectly. So it could be that um, for those of you who might be dating other people currently, you might be just having more realizations as to, you know, what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want. And even if there are some characteristics in your masculine that you don't want, you know, that's just helping you to realize that, you know, I'm not going to accept just anything. And, you know, the masculine will put in the work. I mean, th that energy is there. At least, at the very least, it's available to them to put in that work, okay, to have this union with you. Um, but I feel like it's very important for the feminine to, um, you know, have his or her standards. And not just accept anything. Okay, and again, really depending on your situation. Let's see what else for the feminines. Dark Knight of the Soul, Patience and Stuck. All right, so this is a specific message for some of you. It might not be for all of you, okay? Um, so some of you may have gone through or might be going through a, currently a very, very difficult time period. Um, and you might feel like you are stuck. Now, again, for some of you, this it might even be, you know, that you've tried dating other people and it, it just, you know, nothing, nothing works for you, right? <clears throat> so it, then it just makes you feel stuck in this connection with your masculine. Again, this might not be for all of you, all right? Well, definitely not for all of you. But <clears throat> I feel like some, some feminines that are going to watch this video might need to hear this. And that's why this is coming through. Um, feeling stuck feeling stuck in this connection because nothing else seems to attract you and 
Yeah, and I feel like you're just feeling like you're at your wit's end with patience, like we're just waiting for this and having tried to move on and having tried, you know, this and that. Um, and it might feel like this is just getting the better of you. This is reminding me a lot of what I was seeing in the masculines, okay, in the past couple of readings. Um, if you're feeling this way, know that it is part of the process, okay? This is part of the healing, actually. And I know that that might sound crazy or contradictory, but it's only when we really feel the depths of that desperation that it can actually come to the surface to be processed and integrated and healed. If we never feel that, it's never going to be healed. It's just going to stay bottled up somewhere and it's going to be creeping up and seeping through in you know various areas of life or in our attitudes, our behaviors, our feelings, subconsciously, right? So know that it is okay and that it will pass. It's a phase. Because that's how you get stronger. That is how you will, you know, come out of this and then actually be a better version of yourself because you have already experienced this. So I know when you're going through it, it's like nothing anybody can say can really like <laughs> help, but at least know that it is temporary, okay? Let's get a couple of... <clears throat> I feel for others of you, you've already been through this. You've already been through this. And basically what this has taught you is acceptance. Patience as well, but not in the sense of just waiting. It's more of patience for, you know, whatever is meant to happen, whatever is in my highest good will happen. Patience for that. That is what you have learned as well as acceptance of a situation or of how, a, you know, a particular person is. For example, the masculine. Understanding that, you know, we cannot change people. We can't just magically wish them to be something that they're not. At least, you know, they're not during this time, currently. Now, they might make shifts, um, but they're gonna have to make those shifts themselves. All right, so let's see. Any other messages for the feminines? Nine of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> the Eight of Swords almost flipped over. It was kind of like one of those um, cards that I would say, you know, is like sideways. All right, so feminines. Yeah, there's a lot of um, feeling right now with the Nine of Cups that, you know, a wish didn't come true or that, you know, um, that sense of disappointment of not having, you know, what it is that you would have wanted at this point in time. And I feel like, you know, this is, you know, feeling like, you know, you don't have that spiritual connection or that you can't find that spiritual connection or such a deep connection. Um in others so it's like you know feeling like well the masculine isn't really moving in my direction I can't I realize I'm not really attracted or I'm having a hard time you know with other relationships and so yeah that can feel a little disappointing um, I feel like you you're going to be releasing that that it that just that whole thing it's it's kind of like it doesn't matter you know it's going to be what it's going to be and it, it doesn't matter if if your masculine doesn't come through for whatever reason okay the universe has you there is always i don't want to exactly say plan b but um because it's not as simple as that okay like the way this works is more complicated than we can even comprehend but you will always be supported. You are not going to be left alone. That is what I'm trying to say here. You will not be left alone. I feel like Spirit is asking you to release that stuckness. Release the stuckness. Um, 
you know, get out of the, get out of any victim mentalities that might be holding you back. Everything, you know, it's it's going to work out for you as long as you also, you know, do your part. That would be very unjust and very unfair if you are doing your work, you are doing your healing, and then you're just, you know, kind of left alone in misery. It, it That won't happen. Your happiness cannot depend on whether your masculine does his or her work or not. Okay? Period. <laughs> Your happiness will not depend on what your masculine does or doesn't do. If you are doing, if you are focusing on your self-love, and the masculine actually is, okay? So if you're focusing on your self-love and you are doing your own work, you're going to be just fine, more than just fine, okay? That's the message that I'm getting here. Um, okay. So let's see what might be coming up. Yeah, I feel like this was a um, very specific message for a very specific group of feminines that might need to hear this, okay? So I'm sorry for everybody else. These are the messages that we're getting today. All right. And they are very important. And I'm sure that, you know, most feminines watching this have at least, you know, been in a, in a position like this at some point. So you know what it's like and you know that it can be helpful to have heard this, you know, when you were going through it. So yeah, all right, masculines, what are they moving towards? Because it feels very, very positive. Moon in reverse is the very first card out. Let's see what else. The two of wands and the two of pentacles sideways. All right. Again, a lot of clarity, um, bringing up repressed emotions, um, suppressed thoughts, ideas, feelings, you know, whatever. There's, they're coming out of this, I don't know, some kind of like a dreamy illusion that they wanted to live in or like some kind of a bubble. And this is actually making them contemplate a lot. Almost like you know, almost like being a little bit like, the word coming is bewildered. <laughs> like, wow, have I really been living like this illusion all this time? And so I feel like that is actually the progression of them um, realizing that other people are being deceitful and initially, you know, they're, they're you know, um, setting up those boundaries, realizing that they can't move on from their feminine, feeling empty, all of that, you know, feeling that stress and then progressing to, okay, realizing, you know what, like I have not even been living authentically. I like, this was all like some big illusion, like what the hell? And again, I don't really see them taking much action just yet with the two of wands and the two of pentacles, but it's more of, okay, like really contemplating that and, and figuring out what they're going to do about it. Because it is going to be a little bit hard for them to fully um, manage that, right? Just to process it. Because like I said, it's like, it's, it's a little bit shocking. It's a little bit shocking. So initially, they have to find that balance. And that's what they will be doing. They will be finding that balance. So let's see for the feminines. All right, how interesting. So we have the moon in reverse um, for the masculines as their first card, and then first card for the feminines, the moon upright. What a contrast, right? Uh, the hanged man and the king of cups in reverse. Okay. So again, because if you're a feminine watching this, anytime we look at um, potential future energies, take it more as like guidance or precaution or um, yeah, because you can control this. Okay. So the mere fact that you are becoming aware of a potential here means that you can actually shift it. Okay. Because this is your energy. It's not coming from outside of you. It's your energy, so you can shift it. So what I'm seeing here 
is um, Spirit saying, you know, just be wary of, you know, you living in some illusion that you're trapped in this or, you know, that things are going to be so heavy and difficult and that you're just constantly going to be waiting forever and ever and ever, right? The hanged man. And that that's going to keep you from having love in your life. And that the masculine won't come through. So, yeah, the guidance here is, you know, if you can, try to get out of that headspace. It's not real. It's not real. I feel like it's your mind playing tricks on you. Um, and what I'm referring to is your state of being, okay? Ir irregardless of what the masculine is going to do. And I think I just said a word that's not really a word, but okay, you guys can forgive me. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, feminines. Get it together, feminines. <laughs> Whatever negativity you're thinking, it's not real. about yourself, okay? I'm not saying you're not being realistic when you say, okay, the masculine, you know, is not here. That is realistic. And so, yeah, you should not be just, you know, hung up on them. Yeah, that is being realistic. But feeling stuck and feeling like, you know, you're never going to have happiness or that, you know, I don't know what else it might be that's going on here. That's not real. or feeling like you're going to be waiting forever. That's not real either. We have the moon right before the hanged man and the king of cups in reverse. It, these are not real. All right. So let's get some final messages to close out this reading. I will try to get more next week. I feel like there's more that wants to come through because this one was like very specific to, to some feminines here. Um, okay, so we have to the sea. This is all about going with the flow and knowing that everything will be okay. This is also saying that everything is on track, all right? Everything is flowing in the way that it should. So again, don't, don't sulk or don't dwell in this energy, okay? If you find yourself in that, to the sea, just go with the flow. Allow things to be what they are. Everything is happening for a reason. This is happening for a reason to help you to become stronger or to have more self-realizations, okay? And if you allow that to happen, you will have them. You will have them and then you will look back and be like, oh, okay, that's why I went through that. That's why that happened. Or maybe it's even concerning some interaction you had with your masculine. You'd be like, okay, that's why that happened. It, it will make sense later. All right, so yeah, I think I have to leave it at that. Um, I hope it all made sense. Please give me a like, leave me a comment if it did, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.